First of our events on the track tonight, and it's going to be a beauty, the men's 200 metres, and we've got some terrific talent here, including a dual Olympic champion. It's wonderful to have Angelo Taylor here, who's a, actually a 400 metre hurdle specialist and has won gold medals in that event. But tonight that he's running in the 200 and then later on in the 400. And lucky enough, we've been able to change the program to allow that to happen. But it'll be a great race between him and Aaron Roos Surrett, who won in Melbourne. And there's Nicholas Huff. What a great talent he is. He competed last weekend at the Junior Nationals, won four gold medals and ran seven races in three days. So he might be a little bit tired tonight, Peter, but it's a wonderful experience for him. Well, he's too young to be tired, I think, at 17 <laughs> years of age. But he is, as Mel said, an emerging talent. Aaron Roussarette in the centre of your picture was outstanding in Melbourne because, really, he came into Melbourne cold. He hadn't done anything and was able to win the 1 and 200, which is testament to him. Yeah, that was a surprise for everyone because, as you said, you know, you need race fitness, and I don't think anyone really expected. There, you can see on the left-hand side is Matt Davies. Matt uh, ended up winning in Hobart. He would have been disappointed with his performance in Melbourne. He ended up fifth, so he'll want to make sure that he gets a really good run on the board tonight. And there is the man, Angelo Taylor, who is at 32 years of age from the United States, a two-time Olympic 400 metres hurdles champion. And I'll tell you what, he's no slouch at 200 either. He's run a 20-23 at 200. Which is extraordinary, just to think of his flat speed and uh, that, that he's got behind him. Also, a, li a little thing for our viewers at home, he actually worked full-time uh, electrician in 2006 and 2007 because he thought his career was washed up. So, obviously, it's not at all. So, it'd be, it's going to be a great race. So, we're looking in the middle here. The man in yellow, Nick Huff, Aaron Roussarette, and this man, Angelo Taylor, the 32-year-old American, the dual Olympic champion. That's where the action should be. Men's 200 metres at the Sydney Track Classic. Aaron Roussaret will try and get a very fast start here. He is good around the bend and he'll, and it's great because he has Angelo on his outside. He's got something to chase. Roussaret did get a very good start. Taylor just a little bit slow to get the wheels going. Huff was left behind. Roussaret coming after Taylor as they straighten up. Huff starting to come through. Gander's running well in lane two. Roussaret leads, but Taylor will be strong at the end. Huff is running on very well, though, but it's going to be the dual Olympic champion. Taylor wins. Huff second. Roussaret third. The time, 20.72. Took a while to get the wheels in motion, but when he did, didn't they go? And you could tell with Taylor as he was coming around the bend, you can tell he hasn't had a lot of races outdoor. And um, as I predicted, Aaron Roussaret got a great start off the bend, but Nicholas Huff, what a talent. He came over the top, and for him to actually end up beating Aaron Roussaret is going to be a wonderful uh, achievement for him. Here you can see here. Aaron's trying to not tense up. He thinks, OK, I just need to be able to bring it home the last 50 metres. He's trying to hold his form, but Angelo Taylor is just... What a beautiful technique he has. And, of course, you always knew that he was going to be strong at the end, being a 400 hurdles champion. You need immense strength to be able to compete in that event. And, look, Peter, that's what you know when you're an athlete. When you know you've got your 400 metre rate runners to race against, you know that they're going to be able to kick over the last 50 metres, and that's exactly what happened. So there is Angelo Taylor, 32 years of age, and it's great to have him here. And he's going to be in action a little bit later on in the 400 as well, not running the four hurdles, but running the four flat a little bit later. And it's great to see these quality athletes from all around the world joining us for this series here in Australia. And we're going to see quality athletes all the way through the night here at Homebush Bay. David Luttrell is downstairs, and he's got Angelo Taylor with him. David. Angelo, fond, fond memories of Sydney. Yes, sir. Uh... Definitely five minutes of Sydney. Uh, uh, my first trip here was 96 for the Junior, junior World Championships. And I ran on this very track. And then I came back in 2001, the Olympic gold. So I'm just happy to be here. The fans are great. I love y'all. Uh, that looked like a pretty controlled run against some Aussies that have done some good stuff so far this season. So you're, you're on track for where you want to be against some bigger fish a bit later in the year? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm definitely on track. Uh, I ran a nice control race today. Yeah, it's my season opener, so I'm happy. We're going to see much more of you in Australia. Well, yeah, I got the 400 in about an hour, so <laughs> I'll be on track again. Recover. Good luck with that. All right, thank you. Thank you, Angelo. Angelo Taylor, our winner, the 200 metres.
him. 